Good afternoon, everybody. It's Lynn, the leather bag lady. Um, it's Friday afternoon. It's almost two o'clock and it is New Year's Eve, New Year's Eve day. Um, hope you're all ready for New Year. Being a Scottish gal, lassie, whatever you want to call me. Um, and no bad names. Anybody who wants to comment, you know who you are. Thank you. Um, yeah, Hogmanay is a very big deal in Scotland, probably more so than Christmas. So anyway, Happy New Year to everybody and um, hope you're all ready. I just tried to go to the post office. Uh, not so much. The parking lot was not so. And I was like, why is it so crazy? I went into the post office and I think I probably still be there at midnight. So Sorry, Rini, and another package I have to ship out. Not going to get to it today. So I think Sunday, everything is back open again. I think either Sunday or Monday, I will get out there and get um, in line and get it to you as soon as possible. So that is that. Yes, uh, whatever I haven't gotten in the house is not coming now. So that is beginning in the end of that one. Beautiful day today. It is absolutely gorgeous outside. It is probably seven, eight degrees. The sun is shining. Leather bag lady weather report. It's just fantastic. And my moron neighbor is in the driveway blocking the driveway. So whatever. Um, What are we doing today? Bag today. Love, love, love this bag. Not so much the bag, but the brand. Jane Shilton is a brand that I collect personally. This bag, however, I thought long and hard about it, and I know I won't wear it. However, doesn't mean it's not a beautiful bag. It is black leather, a band of suede, and then these gold tone buttons right here. Just fantastic. It's got a little side gusset, really nice back end, and a nice uh, foot gusset as well. So this is going to sit really nicely. It's almost a bucket bag kind of style. Nice long strap. It will wear beautifully crossbody. Sits very nicely on me. Probably an inch or two more would benefit me. <laughs> Sorry, mom, but hey, a girl's got to tell the truth, right? And um, yeah, shoulder, shoulders don't work for me. It just, I know I won't use it. And I'm not the kind of person that sits and just lets my bag, well, they do collect dust because I got so many of them, but I use them. And um, much like my cars, I use my cars. I'm not a concourse kind of girl who you know, doesn't want anybody to drive my car. I just want it to look pretty. I use my stuff. So this one I know I will not use. This one that I got recently, I know I will use. This one's probably a little older than this one. This one's 70s, maybe 80s. This is 50s, 60s. And just because it's got this top handle, I know I will use it. There are some loops for a shoulder strap if I so choose. I think I might have actually put a shoulder strap in there just in case. Yes, I did. Um, I don't know if I would ever, like I said before, sometimes a shoulder strap is just necessary if your hands are full and you just don't want your bag to be put on the ground. And that is the only reason that I would use a shoulder strap. However, a shoulder strap is a pain in the ass. And a lot of my bags, it's the first thing that people take off when they buy a bag, but it's the first thing they ask for when they are buying a reused bag, a pre-loved bag, a vintage bag. So it kind of doesn't make sense. It's the first thing to get rid of, and it's the first thing they ask for. But anyway, back to this bag in question. I love it. There's a little bit of Jane Shilton labeling. There is Jane Shilton on the zipper pull. It's beautiful inside. I've not really come across this kind of paisley lining before. 
There's your Jane Shilton London badge. There is a zipper compartment and a little slip pocket. I'm not sure what that would be for. And it's that kind of 60s, 70s um, textured silk. So you've got a main compartment with a zipper, but you've also got a nice handy kind of exterior compartment with uh, magnetic closure. So lots of space in this bag. Um, it It is kind of puckering a little bit here just because there's no weight in it. And I, to be honest, I don't think this has been used. So it's, um, and if it has, it's just a testament to the quality of this brand. Now, this brand, I don't, I'm not sure why. I think maybe it's the British connection because I am from the UK. I just have kind of a little soft spot for this brand. But the story is really, really lovely. If you are um regular to my channel i've told the story of this company many times because it's very romantic and i will do cole's notes for you at the moment so 1933 alexander shilton opened this company opened this manufacturer this brand in london england off he went to war and put his secretary in charge was she just his secretary when he went off to war i'm not sure would you put your secretary in charge if you went off to war? Mm, I'm not sure. But anyway, so the story goes. The company retooled during the war and made gas masks. And by the grace of God, Mr. Shilton made it through the war, came back to his factory, was so impressed with Jane that he married her. Mm. Was he having a little bit of a fling before he went to the war? Who knows? But romantic, the story is. And Jane Shilton is still in business in England. And I love the story. I love the brand. I love the little pieces of fashion history that I find quite often, actually. The 70s, 80s bags are not my favorite. So you will find me listing those ones. Um, but the 50s, 60s, I tend to keep those. So... That's my bag for today. Fantastic bag. I'm going to use that little piece of history as our history piece for today. Just a quickie. I've got so much to do. I've been uh, cleaning the bathroom and cleaning all kinds of stuff today. That's another Scottish thing. You kind of, you don't want to bring in the new year with unfinished uh, stuff. So you know, strip the bed, change the bed, been doing the floors, did the bathroom. I'm going to sit and have a drink shortly. And, um, and that is that. So happy new year, everybody. Um, just wanted to thank everybody who has subscribed to this little hobby channel of mine. I really appreciate it. Um, March 26, 22 will be two years since I started with Etsy. And it's probably just over a year that I started with the YouTube channel. The YouTube channel was out of necessity because I found that customers were not reading the full listing and were asking questions that I had already put answers to in the listing. So I thought it would be kind of cool to be able to show people the actual bag that they were interested in in real time. And it's kind of morphed into this daily journal that I present to you. I try and do the bags first so that those of you who don't give a shit what the weather is, don't give a shit what I did in my day, you don't have to give a shit, but you do want to see the bag. So there's some new stuff coming in the new year. Um, I said that all year, but um, I have to get it cracking now. My part-time job has been shut down. Um, the facility has voluntarily shut it down. So without a provincial mandate for it to be shut down, this girlie's not eligible for any type of help outside of um, the small income that I would have made with my clients. But that's no excuse because I have lots of stuff here that I should have been working on, could have been working on. And let's face it, COVID gave me the kick in the pants I needed to do this much. And I'm really going to start the new year with the kick in the pants that I need to start the next couple of phases of the leather bag lady. 
Um, there could be a move in the future. Um, I think my time here is kind of running its course. Um, maybe not this next year I will be moving, but I'm actually really serious about clearing the house out and getting it ready to mark, put it on the market. If I get what I want for it, then I will sell. If not, then I have some other decisions to make. So this upcoming year could be very interesting for me, but it will always be uh, the leather bag lady. There will always be my vintage and moving forward will be my dot com, which is my not vintage. And I'm going to start doing some interesting things with my private group on my Facebook page, uh, Leather Bag Lady Facebook page. I have a private group. I think it's the Leather Bag Lady Boutique, I think. And I've got some fun stuff coming up for, um, for those members. Um, if you want to join it in advance of me announcing what's going to be happening, please do. I don't mind encouraging everybody to join but in order to do what it is I want to do it has to be a private group which it already is and I think it's about 40 45 people on there and I did sell for a while on there but I just ended up kind of concentrating on Etsy and um and that's where we are right now so like I said happy new year everybody I hope you are all ready and uh planned your transportation or whatever it is where you're going Hopefully you're going to stay safe. Um, 16,000 cases here in Ontario this day. I don't know. Who knows what to believe? And that's just the way it's going to be moving forward, I think. So thank you, everybody, for following me, liking my uh, videos. Uh, I've got 85 subscribers now, I think. <laughs> it's wonderful. I just have, I enjoy it so much. I really do enjoy it. There's no agenda other than giving you information, I'm not interested in monetizing or anything like that. I mean, if it happens, it happens. But um, anyway, thank you from the bottom of my leather bag lady heart. And I uh, hope you're all safe. And I wish you all the best for this upcoming year. And I will talk to you next year. Bye, everybody.